and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Demir Tesserator. That's right, we're going to bring this deck back. We've played it one time so far. Um, it was a donation deck that we played um, a couple weeks ago, and it was a lot of fun, and we're going to try it again. Uh, we're kind of having a, a what we're calling like a, a jank-filled Monday here. Besides like the Mono White Angels, we got some janky decks, and, and you know this one isn't uh, a super competitive deck, but it's pretty sweet to play, and I would like bringing this one to uh, F&M. But the biggest reason to play this deck, of course, is the Tezzeret Master of Bridge animation. That plus two on Tezzeret is really sweet. Okay, where are you going? Uh, it has, um, as you can see here, it deals X damage to each opponent where X is the number of artifacts you control and you gain X life. That's, that's what it does. So like you want a lot of artifacts, of course, in play whenever you're playing Tezzeret so that you can do a lot of damage and gain a lot of life for every um, upwards activations. Um, but yeah. But the animation is just really cool. So hopefully we get to pull it off. Uh, the one thing that I'm kind of changing since the last time we played this deck is we didn't have Thought Erasers in this deck. And I, I'm trying to fit in four Thought Erasers in here. As you can tell, that means that we have less artifacts, though. I had, had to cut two artifacts. I cut the main deck Spyglass and one of the Fountain Renewals. So we don't actually have that many artifacts in our deck, like, um, you know, on their own artifacts. So Psy uh, is not going to be as strong for us. All right, so I cut the second Psy, and I cut the second Enter the God Eternals that was in here as well. But our main way to generate artifacts is going to be from Sahili. Every time we cast any non-creature spell, we make an artifact servo. And from this Tezzeret, ticking up to make Thopters. So like these, those are going to be our main uh, artifact generators. Of course, Karn makes some Karn Strux as well. Uh, and then, yeah, I want to play this Tesseret and tick up and do a lot of damage. Um, so there we go. That's that's our uh, that's our deck. We're gonna try it out here and try to make a bunch of artifacts and zap our opponent. Is there a is there a Tesseret? Do not yeah. get in my way. Perfect. Um, all right, let's get started. So we're going to play these, just feel like playing some traditional constructed cues today. <laughs> Tezzeret, Master of Bzzz. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're at number 217 right now. We did good last night in, in Mythic with uh, Teamer Hydra. That deck's a lot of fun to play. You need to keep tuning that. So also up on the docket today, we're gonna to have Tamio Dredge, which is just which is the Dredge deck that's been the most popular deck that we've been playing here recently. Where I'm gonna just try splashing green in it for Tamio and see how it works. Uh, could could be a train wreck. Could be amazing. Who knows? Uh, so that'll be fun. So make sure you you stay tuned for that one. And then we're gonna have Sultai Amnesia. I updated that donation deck from last week um the deck the built around in, induced amnesia yeah let's just take a guild globe we want artifacts hey starnut draconis hello good afternoon <laughs> nice cool storm got that kiora card style because of team Hydra. nice there you go Terry, Terry Mander flies. This makes creatures on the ground. I don't like flying creature. Where I was also like, while I was like kind of putting this together, I was also thinking about. I think I may make a uh, colorless deck. To try out. There's so many cool colorless lands. We could have like just a sweet mana base if we're just playing a colorless deck. Maybe a little tough though. Hmm. Ah, it's mono blue. Alright, well, Hawkeye moved. Okay, 
So you prefer the term homebrew to jank? Well, admittedly, our deck's not so great against counter spells, considering we have a lot of expensive uh, sorcery speed cards with these planeswalkers. But oh well, that's just kind of what we have. Uh, hopefully, no, uh, no curious obsession, so um, you know, won't be able to just continue to draw cards. Hey, Casey, thanks for resubbing here. I appreciate that. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Ow. Um. Well, I need... Huh. So I need, like, Tazeret to resolve next turn. So playing Karn means that I, I'm definitely going to get the land. If I play if I play Karn, I, I'll have the mana for Tazeret. If I play Thought Erasure... Um, I may get the mana, but then I'll kind of be able to check for counter magic. Let's go with Thought Erasure and then Guild Globe also. Let's check for counter magic. All right, so uh, we don't care about Essence Capture. We'll take Dive Down. Uh, not my favorite land, TBH. But we're we're taking it. We can't be too greedy and just not, you know, just not have any land. Hey, way to go, Ancestral Knowledge. Good job. So I'm at five right now. Perfection is attainable. Yeah, so which which list did you use, Ancestral Knowledge? That you're sitting at Mythic 76 with right now. Well, that's good. That's going to give us some more... Some more turns. This will keep an eye on you. Well Hoping to get a land here. Very good. So now we'll have the Tyrant Scorn. Ah, cool. The Gruel Arcbow. Very nice. Did you keep it with three arc bows, or did you add in a fourth? Hey, thank you so much for the donation too there. So, real glad to hear that, Ancestral Knowledge. Okay, you stayed with the three? Okay. So, did you like the... the after I played it, I wasn't sure if, if I should be going to four with the arc bow. And then... Um... Forward the arc bow and then just and then take out a. Um, a curious choice. Oh, uh, take out a Domri. Sorry, a four mana Domri. Yeah, like one of the four mana Domri's over one of the arc bows or or not. But so like how, like was four mana Domri really good for you? All right, so we got the unblockable damage out of here. It is we have a blocker, and we're at, you know, even a, a trickster doesn't kill us. Oh no, well, that's not so good. Hey, Maskalar, thanks for the resub there. Hope
Hope you're having a great day. Okay, so it looks like the, the main change, you, you took out one Ravager Worm for a Carnage Tyrant. Cool. How's that Shaper Sanctuary over there on the board? I've been thinking about playing that card, too. Sahili. Um... Gross. <laughs> I learned a few tricks on Kaladesh. You have no place in my plans. Let's see how you respond to genius. Well, not very well. Okay, so yeah, okay, so the worm the worm was better than the Carnage Tyrant, yeah. So the problem with taking up is my opponent can just give me like a bad card out of out of a selection. I don't have any like ritual of sets or anything in here, so get rid of one, we can't get rid of the other. Yeah, Kent, I, I like to I like to draft, but I don't draft on stream. But yeah, drafting's a lot of fun. Alright, again, ritual sits in here and moment of cravings and duresses. Um, the other contempt is just some other good removal. Better than Enter the God Eternals. Hmm. I guess like so like Sahili just making one one ground creatures isn't really valuable except for for except for uh for Tezzeret Master of the Bridge. Um Uh, yeah, HXC. I don't. I don't know if you've seen me copy too many decks. Doesn't happen too often. So I think. I think it's gonna be Sahili out. Is Founder Renewal? Um, yeah, I guess Founder Renewal is gonna do some work for us. So I make Thopters, but we don't have that many artifacts. Not necessarily good ones. I 
not really winning this. I guess treasure map. Yeah, treasure map and Karn. Our opponent's hand was not very good that game, and we got to resolve a couple Planeswalkers and we lost. That's disappointing. I probably could have made some better decisions with Tezzeret. Like, maybe I just shouldn't have drawn two. Just ticked up again. And those cards were really bad that we were drawing, though. Just lands after land. Alright, let's definitely get rid of Terry. We saw there Terry turning into a 5-5. Five five. Uh, hurt us pretty bad. All right, good. No instant speed wizard here. Tapped out. Resolve treasure map. And hopefully treasure map can go find us stuff. I think I should have taken out a land. I bet I probably could have. Yeah. I didn't really consider that. If we win this game and get to be on the draw, I'm certainly going to take out a land. Oh, yeah. Blast zone? Right. We have blast zones in this this oh yeah yeah I would have upkeep treasure mapped if, if I wouldn't have found anything here I forgot we have blast zones in this deck that card's great alright well looks like I'll be cracking this fountain of renewal here to be able to draw here pretty soon play some more one mana creatures go ahead they're going to cycle a Curious Obsession, it looks like. No, that thing costs too much. That's not one mana. Go back to one mana stuff. I don't want my opponent to know about the blast zone. I'm not playing it out here. Don't don't tap out, opponent. What are you doing? I mean, I guess I could have just taken six, let them draw a card, and then ritual set. OK. 
Could have gone to 13 and let them draw a card. And keep the Contempt, basically. Nah, it's probably not worth it. I guess I would have gone to 11 with having the Contempt still. All right, well, I'll just take five here. <laughs> yeah, we. I don't have any creatures in my deck to essence capture, so you don't have to worry about that one. Ah, well, I can st still just sit. This is going to be a long game. I don't really need to minus for Thought Erasure. I honestly just don't, I don't need a thought raise or anything in there, so we'll just keep it. Uh, like you know, maybe maybe later on we draw we find our Tezzeret, and um, by that time our opponent has a counter spell. We want a thought raiser then. Hey Yager. I don't think they'll ever put out two creatures or two things to blast zone away. Let's just blast zone right now. Well, we'll keep the other one in hand, won't show it. And digging quickly for our two Tezzerets. Uh, most notably the other Tezzeret. Oh no, don't actually tap the, des the treasure cove. Uh. All right, maybe it'll be time to start minus twoing the Karn. You know, of course, I'll minus one. I'll minus one Karn and grab the other Tezzeret. Um, choose target spell or permanent that's red or green. Its owner puts it on the bottom of their library. Um, it's not... So it's not a, a counter spell, but... Yeah, it would take... It would take a... My artifacts give them strength. It would take a... Uh, a green or a red spell that's on the stack 
you know, even something like a Carnage Tyrant that's uncounterable, and it would put it on the bottom of the library. The Claw. Let's make, start making tokens. Some solutions must be built. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so much fun to do. That's how we're playing this deck. Tezzeret's plus two. The claw. Um, because all the top ten cards of your library put all artifact cards from among them onto the battlefield. It's not even really even that helpful. But still just... Three, you know, three, two, two last turn, three this turn, next turn will minus two again, four, four next turn. I'll just keep this artifact here. Oh, a treasure map. All right, let's see if they have a counter spell. They do. Uh, fine. We can trap, tap the treasure cove. Time for the claw. Of your so satisfying. What's up, Blitz Batman? Thanks for that sub there with Twitch Prime. I really appreciate that. All right. We really clawed back into that one. That's our fourth sub of the day there. And let's give this another try. I guess I guess maybe I should just cut Fountain of Renewal. I mean that life that life gain's pretty nice, but because of Blast Zone, Blast Zone's it away. That's that's kind of annoying. It'd be playing Guild Globe instead to cycle. No, I'll just keep it. Oh, right, cut land. I was going to cut a land for the Guild Globe. Because I lowered my curve just in general. I don't think we need all the lands that I have in here. <laughs> well, we'll see if we flood out. Very possible. If I had two black mana, I would not be duressing right now. But since the, the fact that I don't have two black mana. No, I don't need a duress right now. I want to use duress proactively to protect uh, some important spell that I need to resolve. It certainly feels like dive down over there. Wow. I just resolved and quickly. Speaking of important spell. Huh. Well then. I I mean I think that's probably a keep. On their end, so like let's you know, so you have two, or so you have a Terramander, two Curious Obsession, and three Tempest Gin, and you want to just you just get rid of it because you don't have any what? Because you don't have counter spells. I feel like that's a keep. Seems like a good one. I guess I should just minus one so I can take, because I want to hit the land drop, so I could have just minus one and just grab the blast zone for a land drop. But usually plus ones give you lands anyway. And 
Karn Sion Urza taking over. If they just drew a spell pierce. A spell pierce or a dive down, they're in it. That's the real test here. Did they just draw a spell pierce or dive down? Okay, well they're in it. Hmm, not as in it now. This will be over quickly. A master builds with ease. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. You have no respect for Karn over there. Let's get this upkeep stop in with the treasure map. Yeah, I'll take that. All right, well, now this one's over. My device is finished, as are you. <laughs> there is great power to defeat me. <laughs> it, uh, even though these, how these two games have looked, I, I think the mono blue is probably uh, favored even after sideboarding here, but we have a lot of good tools. For it, but their hands weren't weren't perfect, and they made a, a couple little mistakes here and there. And our hands were quite good, though, for our deck. To be honest, How convenient. An excellent choice. especially this game three, our hand was awesome. I made you a gift. <laughs> so yeah, the fountain isn't... I'm probably going to just crack this fountain so that I can blast zone. And kill the blocker. And well, I mean, they're at three. It doesn't really matter what I do. All right. Demir Tezzerator. We got to claw one game. Got to win a match. So far, so good on this Monday. It's all I wanted to do was play the Master of Bridges. So it is Tezzeret Master of Bridges. Is that right? Yeah. Master of the, the Bridge. Never mind. Master of the Bridge. Not just bridges in general. Tezzeret isn't just like going over to, you know, hey, there's the, the Golden Gate. I'm a master of that. And hey, Soul Farmer. Yeah, discuss, yeah, we can just discuss spoilers. And, and Dr. Ultra, um, we'll probably discuss them more in the Discord channel too. Um, we got a lot of people in the Discord channel. Uh, talking spoilers and everything in there. Uh, there's a there's you know different rooms in there, including a room for Corset 2020. There also. Anyway, Matthew Ori. Hey Matthew, hope you're having a good Monday. Yeah, I do. I'm just I'm glad there's another Johnny. Johnny's certainly one of my favorite planeswalkers. Life's better when there's more Ajani's than standard. Together, we'll create great things, you and I. <laughs> I 
Jimmy Yo. It's a good card. I know I noted this somewhere. Only minus two Sahili twice. I'm gonna wait. I could turn the Guild Globe into a three three. You know, turn it into like one of the Karn Strokes. I could turn the Guild Globe into a three three and attack Tamio for three. But I only get two Sahili activations. Doing very good, Gustavo. Hope you're doing good as well. Yeah, I saw I saw the White Leyline Leyline of Sanctity. That's a good one. Uh, I don't. I haven't seen any other ley lines. You know, I don't know if it's like a just a just a one of. They're just you know throwing a, a white ley line in there, or if they're actually there's actually going to be more ley lines in standard or not. All right. So our, my plan. So three, four, five, six. So yeah, we're, I'm going to kill Nissa and Tamio here. So we'll play Scorn, destroy the Incubation Druids, they don't have a blocker. Play a Guild Globe, draw a card. Make another 6-6, six, six. well, 7-7. Seven, seven. Copy the Unsummoning Sick. How can I even tell which one's not summoning sick? Enter the battlefield this turn. So this one. Do I have your attention now? Kill both of those. Attack them for one. Yes, yeah, so he is like, do I have your attention now? Gill Globe swinging for seven. Yeah, affinity and standard. All right, well, Karn can only tick up, so let's just start with that. See what we get. Now the land. Um, let's hope that's not Frilled Mystic chilling over there. But definitely, you know, playing this first and make another artifact at the very least. Ooh, not a Frilled Mystic. Interesting. Master of Machines. So do I want to draw to or make a Thopter? I gotta make a thopter. Silent, obedient to perfection. I like to think fast. <laughs> so I mean, if they. They have to block. They have to chump block with both of them if they don't. If they don't have anything, and I I assume they didn't have like removal, considering they let that minus happen. I mean, this is a lot of damage here. Really, that a blink of an eye? Why didn't they just bounce that in response to me minusing? You could have just done that then, and then I wouldn't have had another eight eight. 
Oh well. Alright, well there's a nexus. So my opponent's playing some Incubation Druids, Tamiyo, Blink, Jade Light, Krasis. Okay, so just kind of Simic cards with Nexus here. Draw two. Tezzeret? Yeah! Tezzeret! One, two, three, four, five, six. This Tezzeret will make a seventh. Karn can make an eighth. Evil cannot withstand a righteous arm. Cross me. <laughs> Tezzeret. Okay. So, usually against mana creature decks, I want to play Ritual of Soots. Like, mana creature Nissa decks. Bzz. That's so satisfying. This probably isn't any different. Spyglass shutting off Tamiyo could be pretty important. Hmm. See, like, basically every single card in my sideboard can do something good against my opponent. You know, like, we kill Mana Creature, make them discard important stuff. Elder Spell Away, Nissa and Tamiyo, Contempt Nissa and Tamiyo, kill a bunch of Mana Creatures. Uh, and the guy who turns is expensive, but... And then this thing, you know, shutting off. So basically everything is good, but the problem is we only get to play 60. And we don't want to just take out, like, first, Enter the God Eternals is definitely out. But then the problem is, what am I doing after that? Because I don't, I guess I don't really need Psy or Fountain of Renewal. Alright, so I have four spots to play with here. Preferably. So if we go two Soot, to Spyglass. I can have Spyglass kind of replace Guild Globe and keep the artifact count high. That's kind of nice. Um, let's go three Soot Wonder S. Yeah, let's just play these sets. Okay. <laughs> Run it all. Run all 75. The biggest thing that I'm worried about with Duress is whenever my opponent does have, like if they have a Tamiyo in play, then the Duress is shut off. A little worried about that. Yeah, Phyrexian Scriptures could be kind of nice here in this deck. I agree. It's slow. You know, you have to like play it on turn four and then also wait another turn. But it is solid. Hmm. Certainly hoping that I was going to draw a two mana spell here in the in my first two draw steps with me being on the draw. All right, well, no blue mana over there, so that's good. Oh no no no, wrong one. Okay. Prepare to marvel at my masterpieces. And heart is blind. We will not fail. The land shall conquer you. Um, sure. I will not give up. Hmm. Do you really think you can keep up with me?
So at least they have no blue mana. I don't. At least one positive, at least. So I wanted to, to represent having three one ones to be able to block the forest. Block a forest. Um Today I craft my victory. Last turn. I know how this ends. I could kind of do something with Blast Zone. <laughs> yeah. Well, Soul Diviner for the Blast Zone wouldn't really help us. Because, I mean, it's still just, you know, just Blast Zone won't destroy lands, you know, like. Because otherwise it would, it would destroy all the lands, you know, it wouldn't just destroy these lands that are creatures. I need, I need to find a Ritual of Soot. That's what I need to find. Okay. Um. All right, the master of bridge of the bridge. This should strike fear into you. So I can I can hit the Nissa for one to keep the Nissa from ultimating. Is that that important to keep Nissa from ultimating? Yeah, sure. Genius is as genius does. Yeah, that's probably important. Because ultimating, you know, gets any forest into play, so that, that includes breeding pools, so, you know, like ultimating would put a bunch of breeding pools into play. The land fights for us. Hmm. You can just let Sahili die. Innovation knows no bounds. We need I more artifacts. Die. Draw two. Brilliance comes easily to me. Okay. That'll take out Nissa. Behold, new wonders. This is pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, our opponent's a Nexus deck. It doesn't sure doesn't seem like it. We'll get the upkeep stopping. 
All right, time to zap. Zap. Don't you see? You have already lost. Um. So if I make Mox Amber a Thopter, attack for two more. They're at nine. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Cancel. Uh, no. It doesn't untap my land. Oh, wait. I should have just attacked then, but whatever. Yeah, this is a zappy deck. Bzz. Bzz, bzz. We're zapping. That game one in that match was really impressive for our deck. That was like the really impressive game, that game one. I mean, obviously that game, our opponent just never had blue mana. So it wasn't, you know, wasn't as impressive there. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like you're like playing a match, you know, against somebody else. And Tezzeret's just like sitting over there watching. And you're like, hey, Tezzeret, zap this person. And Tezzeret like reaches over and is like, zap. And you're like, thanks, Tezzeret. And then he goes back to like, you know, munching on popcorn or whatever he's doing. Goes back to his nachos. Rut row. Mountain. Hello. <laughs> Tezzeret being played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. The Tezzerator. Yeah, this looks like Mono Red Crisis. It does. <laughs> yeah, it's looking like Mono Red Crisis. Um, yeah, M20 is looking sweet, Jason. Looking good so far. I so we we've seen we so so far we've seen as far as planeswalkers go we've seen three. I, mean, I do need like another land, but I'll probably draw a land. Let's see, we've seen three, uh, three Chandras and then one a Johnny. And it looks like there's going to be a, a Planeswalker for every color. I wonder if there's going to be three Planeswalkers for every color. You know, like, I wonder if there's going to be three Ajani's and three um, of the other ones. Looks like Soren for black. Uh, Nissa for green. Do I not have an upkeep stop anymore? Do so you think only Chandra gets three? And then, and it was some some other planeswalker I didn't know very well for blue, like from the packaging. Hmm, I think it makes a four four. Four four is kind of cool. I mean, I guess it's better than a random card. Yanling? Okay. Is it Yangling? Is there a G before the L or no G before the L? Is it Yangling or Yanling? No G. Yanling. Okay, so only Chandra gets the three. She's the focus.
gonna go ahead and play the Enter the God Eternals first to have some defense for the Tezzeret. So they hit Coil, Blastone, Sarkin, and Thaumatic Compass. Summer Angel keeps me on the run. Yeah, I've seen yeah, I've seen the three planeswalkers be kind of compared to Pokemon. The Naya Angel for Naya Hero. I'm I don't love the mana cost for the Naya Angel for Naya Hero. You know, I think it costs five mana. You know, so I don't love the five you know, costing five mana for the acro deck. Got to. Look at all this nature. So we know they have one lightning strike. They, I think it's just like ticking up just puts it to six loyalty. Could have two lightning strikes, but obviously this dies to one lightning strike and one shock. But might as well get the cards. Um. That's unfortunate. They have the lightning strike and the shock. But I gotta take the Zug in here. Hawkeye was up here earlier. Uh, he's he's laying asleep on the couch. He's actually, you can't quite see him. He's right behind the table. He's like right there. All right, so they have one card. Kind of same same as us. Let's look uh upkeep stop. All right. Yay. Tazaret. Tazaret. All right. Warm it up. I don't really want to tap the treasure cove. That's why I'm tapping like this, because it'll just auto tap treasure cove. Bzz, bzz, bzz. This will end badly no! We didn't even get to do it! Ah. It just has a plus ability of lava axe plus gain five life. And deal five, gain five. The claw too strong. Um, what's devout decree? Right, oh, here we go. You sent me the, the card here. Life link lava axe. Uh, one in a white exile target creature or planeswalker that's black or red. Man. Black and red cards are cool. Yeah, so it's Celestial Purge, but then yeah, Creature or Planeswalker only, and then Scry one. We need more hate for... Spyglass, Spyglass. Iron Scorn, get rid of these Founder Renewals. Um, size decent. Uh, 62. Um, what am I get rid of? What am I get rid of? I guess a Guild Globe.
I have one more hate for the blue planeswalkers, Narset and Teferi. Not, let's give Teferi more things. I don't like Narset and Teferi. They're really good. I don't like their their passive abilities. Like those two, those two Nissa, like the Planeswalker passives. Those are rough. Uh, yeah, rel Leyline will be a little relevant. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be like hugely relevant, but it'll do some stuff. It'll be a, a sideboard card at times, like depending on what happens in the metagame. So you don't know why more people aren't running the the single B sorcery that removes five loyalty counters because of those other two. It's kind of it's kind of because Elder Spell exists, and it's it's kind of hard to justify playing that card when for another black mana you can destroy all Planeswalkers and it destroys Nissa and Tamio that like take up to six immediately and and everything. Your vines is a little rough. Our act good choice. I don't know if just playing playing Karn's probably better than trying to set up this blast zone. Yeah, because their their treasure maps are already gonna flip. I should have just played Karn. Yeah, I should just play Karn here. Alright, that was a bad bad turn by me. But yeah, so I, I assume that that's going to be a, a cycle. If there's if there's a card like that in white, I assume that's a cycle. Hmm. Does my opponent realize I have a blast zone over here? Sorry, Taz, I already got one of you. So creatures and planeswalkers have affinity for artifacts. I mean, I'm, I may have to spyglass Karn, to be honest. Are you I mean, this is this is all because I just didn't play my Karn earlier. I certainly should have. I guess I gotta spyglass that thing. Fire? <laughs> I know. 
Yeah, today's the beginning of M20 spoiler season. Need more mana. A curious choice. Hmm. I guess my opponent had duress to use with the daredevil now. So look at their deck more. Definitely don't think I need these Tyrant Scorns. Awaken. So we need, you know, uh, didn't see Karn Chandra last game, so could definitely use more Elder Spells. I mean, Tyrant Scorn does take out uh, th this thing, which is nice. Okay, just Contempting. Come on. Yeah, we're dead. I mean, I, I yeah, this is all just snowballed for not having the Karn out earlier. My opponents had the Karn, and they've been able to play a bunch of things every turn, you know, getting all those extra cards. You know, they've gotten, like, six extra cards from the Karn, something like that, like, whatever whatever it's been. Well, it's probably been, like, four. It would be nice if I had four extra cards. Don't think I have an out, really. I don't think I'm winning this. What's that smell? Oh, Azar's Gateway also? Hmm. The problem with like Science of Healy, of course, is Chain Whirler. It's a little bit of a problem. I guess I should be keeping them. And if I do take out Tyrant Scorn, I really won't have very much. Like if I do take out Tyrant Scorns, I'll just have three Contempt for removal for creatures, which is basically nothing. Um, I was just kind of unfortunate to have both of these Tyrant Scorns in the, the opening hand, too. I, th I guess it's Duress? This card's not nearly as good against a Daredevil deck. But it's really good against everything else they got. We can probably just go with five discard spells. I think that's, that's reasonable. Um, Old Teferi is rising in price last month. For this month. Uh, yeah, it, it does see play in, in modern and stuff too, but not a lot. But es Esper Hero is a really popular deck right now. Um... So I opened up Walk the Plank today as a reward and thought about a second. Why won't an Esper Grixis deck play it? Because it's sorcery. Um, it does cost black black, so it's it's not uh, particularly easy to cast. Treasure map and cinder vines. 
This is a really good hand. I don't know how I'm dealing with that Phoenix. Our opponent's deck lines up really well against ours. Yeah, their their cards line up very well. I think it's either Treasure Map or Phoenix, but I honestly just don't know which one to take. I'll take the Treasure Map because that's just going to be worth a whole lot of cards. Well, if we don't draw any, any lands, it doesn't really matter. Okay. The world yields to art, not oppression. At least that's another turn we don't have to worry about the Phoenix beating us down. But a very solid hand for them. While the treasure map's a lot of cards, it does slow them down quite a bit where this is like their more aggressive start. I only have three contempts in the deck to deal with this Phoenix. It's not very many. I'm sorry, but I must tend to my creations. So Healy made an, a 1 1 and gained 8 life. Cards have not lined up here whatsoever this game for us. Their hand, like all their cards, just <laughs> they're so good against what I'm trying to do. No, keep stop. Yeah, I don't. I don't have anything here. Good game. All right, so we're two and one.
Maybe I shouldn't have taken the treasure map because it did just allow my opponent to, just to curve out like that. Just take... Just take Cinder Vines, even. They have to play treasure map, and then they're just, like, activating treasure map all the time. I don't know. Yeah, their deck just lined up so well. All those cards did. Too problematic. All right, next... Next game. Hey, HTTP. GG's. Get this guild gate in play. So we got Plains, Plains, Clifftop Retreat. Ah, it's a feather deck. That was a really, really good draw. Don't think we could ask for a better one. Hmm. If I don't place a Healy here, you know, I'm basically just never playing it. Uh, I want to play Tezzeret, Tezzeret, the next two. A match. Shall we begin? Hmm. Maybe Karn first before Tezzeret? Marlo. Yeah, we're playing Tezzeret Master of the Bridge here. Oh, yeah, it's true. We could just Karn for free, couldn't we? Yeah, that's... Yeah, because we'll have... We'll have four artifacts here because it's Healy. And just Karn for zero. No, we didn't get to claw. Huh. Well, that made our opponent upset, I guess. Such respect for the claw. So my plan was to minus two the Karn to make another artifact, and then ha you know having six, and then having Tezzeret tick up, deal six, gain six. GGS. Hmm. Not untapped mana, but a. Good solid hand. Let's try it. Especially like we're on the draw, we can we can draw untapped mana. We're gonna have to kind of draw mana in general. But why not an untapped land? Nope, not yet. It's not ideal, the whole not drawing on tapped land. Need more lands. So why do I not have other cards in the list with a sideboard toolbox? 
feel like it'd be, I mean, that's that's an option you can go with. I just, I just didn't go with that. Uh, you know, you do have to like protect your, the Karns and they're kind of hard to, those Karns are kind of hard to protect. If you enter and minus right away, they have like three loyalty. And I wanted just like real cards in the sideboard, not necessarily just like all artifacts in the sideboard. It does take up a lot of slots, of course. Um, yeah, it's got to be treasure map. So I need four mana, play Sahili, then Fountain Renewal to make a 1-1 one -one to start chumping this Null Hide. Okay, so we're going to scry on upkeep, try to hit this land drop, scorn the branch walker, and then probably just take our regular draw the following turn, hoping to just get fortunate and hit our land drop so they can have Sahili plus Fountain. Well, no lands. That's five, I guess six cards, because we know the bottom cards. Yeah, that's six cards. Since keeping our opener, six cards without a land. It's 11 there. I can't stop the, the Ferox from killing me in the next turn. Just pick it up. Hmm. No hide Ferox. It really avoids everything I have going on. You know, lines up really well against everything that I'm trying to do. Yeah, I guess Sahili, like Sahili and, and Sai, those are those are like my things to just like make chump blockers. That's what I got. Um, I don't think I really want Ritual of Soot, do I? So if I have, if I have Contempt replace Enter the God Eternals, do I want Ritual of Soot as well? I don't think so. I think I just try to do my thing. Thalmatic Compass is pretty slow. It's very good in the late game. It's not really that good early. It could be... It's possible it's better than Fountain of Renewal. I wanted something, like, really cheap uh, for Sai Sahili. That's why I have, like, the Fountain of Renewals, but that's where Thalmatic Compass could go. It's another... It's a, it's a, it's a fine option. Like I said, it's really, really good late. Like, once you already have seven lands and get to flip it and all that kind of stuff. It's awesome. The problem is getting to that point, and our deck's pretty slow, and not like... Uh, and so that's the problem with it. Here, let's observe. And of course it just competes on the 2 mana slot, with like everything else, like everything in our deck costs 2 mana. Alright, so Thought Erasure will get us, hopefully this will help us hit our third land, and then we get to start treasure mapping. Kept the two lander last time. First six cards, no lands. Here's another two lander. Hopefully we actually hit lands. I don't have any Phyrexian Scriptures in here, but that that could be a pretty decent card. Um, it's, it is slow, but does a good job of killing the opponent's stuff and not my stuff, you know. It, I don't know. I, I didn't really try it out with the deck, to be honest.
So I'm taking the best card with Spellbreaker, even though they don't have red mana. I'm just kind of like assuming that they'll be able to find red mana. They're keeping Nyssa. Interesting. So that, that must be a land in hand if they're keeping Nyssa. And I'm going to just take the draw step here instead of scrying upkeep. Because basically no matter what I draw, I think I'll be kind of happy. I guess I guess I really want land, don't I? Not too confident in us winning this one. And it's looking more and more like taking the Spellbreaker was the wrong choice. Oh, there's red mana. Not boarding in Ritual of Set. It's looking pretty silly as well. I'm just dead. Ugh. I'm just dead. Hmm. They didn't kill this? Certainly regret not bringing in Ritual of Soot. I don't know why I wasn't really prepared for Nyssa from the Nullhide Ferox deck. But I wasn't. No, I didn't see any of the coverage from the the Raptors parade there today. No, I didn't. My 
My creations are pings of beauty. Yeah, no, I mean, I've, I've just messed this up. Like, basically this whole game, I've just just made, like, just bad decisions after bad decision. I don't, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what I don't know what I'm doing. Like, like before before they go to attackers, I need to to contempt the Brontodon there, so that if they wanted to save the if they wanted to blow something up with Brontodon, then they had to tap the land. Um. And so like I haven't been able to like make make a token here. Like I should have just taken the Brontodon the first time. I just I don't have outs. I don't have like no matter what I contempt, I'm dead. That was just a really, really poorly played game and sideboarded really bad. It's going to happen sometimes, I suppose. When you play so many games, sometimes you just... Every decision you make just is the wrong one. That's that's what happened there. Oh, well. But yeah, it all kind of started with sideboarding and, maybe, and then, like, seeing their hand and being like, why didn't I bring in Ritual Soot? And, you know, just everything went wrong. Um, yeah, Phyrexian Scriptures could be worth a try in the deck for sure. Uh, it'd definitely be very good against those Gruel decks, uh, even if you have to just take a turn off. Um, it didn't see play before because of, like, Vivian. Like, it was it was always, like, the best against the green decks, but all the green decks were playing Vivian. But green decks aren't playing Vivian these days. So Phyrexian Scriptures could be a way to go now. Um, but this deck was still very fun, and Tezzeret Master of Bridge was awesome. Definitely a fun deck to play here. Um, I think the the best showing of the deck was match two. Um, like if you're watching this later on YouTube, the second match, game one, uh, the deck w looked really impressive. Um, that w that was the. Uh, that that was like the the best showing of the deck, getting to curve Sahili into Karn, and then the following turn, this after untapping with Sahili and Karn, uh, having Sahili make a, a copy of a Karn struct and you know use a removal spell and then swing in and kill a Tamio and a Nissa with a couple of Karn structs, um, and then have just a whole bunch of power in play. It was it was pretty nice. But anyway, uh, that's Demir Tezzerator. If you want to get that sweet Tezzeret animation and play a deck with the Master of the Bridge here on Arena, this is a pretty good one. You can do worse. Um, yeah, if you try out Phyrexian Scriptures in the deck, let me know how it goes as well. So there we go. Uh, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Uh, but that's it here for Demir Tezzerator. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you for another video.